The last few years have been all generative AI all the time. And that's why I am proud today to announce Steely's latest innovation, the first credible response to generative AI. We call it Generative Human Intelligence, or Gen HI for short, and it's gonna be big. At the heart of this is our prompt detection system, which is a registered process through which we can gather human inquiries into real world problems. Traffic patterns, bumblebee. Northeast. Prompt, bees, northeast, traffic patterns, go. We do a lot of book research, human book research, to get you that answer. We're just gonna draw the bumblebee. Oh my God, she's a, yeah, she's a that's queen. Good. That's she's good. literally a queen. Oh my God, wait, what about the bee movie? Oh my, oh my God. God. Oh. I know. Do you yeah. think he taught her about flight patterns? Probably. Answers. Bees, northeast, traffic patterns. Where's our lunch? The bees are going to count the cars on the New Jersey Turnpike. After 15 cars, it's going to be Manalapan, so go left. It depends on what kind of bee. So Ooh. if it's a bumblebee, then they're going to have to go six miles. If they are a honeybee, then they go 12 miles. If they are the African wild bee, then we're not sure where they're going to go. Now, the African killer bees, not John Belushi, but the other kind of bees. So be careful, because if the wind is blowing be your bees... Be careful! Be, be careful. careful! Right. Generative HI leverages humans to respond to human prompts, and then we deliver the responses via humans to the human users. There are humans everywhere. We are able to personally deliver to you uh, on a organic, locally sourced, waterproof vellum scroll the responses to your inquiry. And hopefully you'll be completely satisfied. If not, we can repeat the process and iterate it on it again. Well, Roxanne, thank you so much for being part of our feedback session on our latest innovation. Uh, I'm proud to tell you about generative human intelligence. And instead of asking computers prompts, we ask each other and we give human prompts. And we really think it's gonna be big. I love this idea. Adam, how can I get involved? We think it's gonna be big because instead of asking computers to do things, uh, we ask humans. I think you're frozen. Um, no, I'm curious about that happy face that it's like, is that like a wound or something? Um, well, it's a prototype. Human AI, Mike. We get a lot of questions from faculty. How do I AI proof my assignment? How do I make my exam AI proof? You know what's AI proof? Paper. Digital is out. It's all about analog now. Check back often to see our progress on this amazing innovation. We're always working to improve our speed and accuracy so you can work faster, not harder. Say hi to Generative Human Intelligence with Steely. April Fool's Day! April's Day. Thanks for watching our April Fool's Day video. If you really want to innovate, be sure to come to the 2025 Teaching and Learning Symposium on May 6th. We'll see you there. The essence of a good symposium is this multidisciplinary approach that we are learning from various perspectives all at one time. You know, a successful symposium is uh, an event where people get to see each other and uh, they get to um, share what they've learned and they get to kind of mark that year as like, we made it through and we did these good things and let's share that with, with others across the university. Symposium can be not just a showcase of work that's been done, but also a launch pad for what we can do in the future. Because we had so much like energy and enthusiasm around it and we got such good responses from people about Symposium and feedback afterwards, we were able to launch so many different things like with that as the the starting point so the change one thing movement on campus that came out of a symposium presentation last year that was really well received we really get to highlight the uh, amazing things that our faculty members are doing and they don't necessarily have to be faculty members who work with us they could be people who we've heard about who are doing really interesting things and we ask hey you're doing this interesting thing we would love it if you'd come and give a presentation on it just knowing that we we can have an event like that where 150 200 people can show up and you know really take something away and be invigorated
that's that's the best feeling. Cool.